Hello, I'm Dave Zerson, and today is August the 10th. You may know that most of the days in the calendar year, and especially in what we call the church year, have remembrances for significant people who impacted the life of the church. So in this month of August, we can remember and we can learn about on their day, people like Monica, the mother of St. Augustine. We can remember the three women who brought myrrh and spices to the tomb to anoint Jesus after his burial. We can remember the prophet Samuel. But today I'd like to uh, remember with you someone who is really quite significant in terms of what we're all about as Christians. So let's think for a moment who that might be. Let me ask you a question. Um, it's maybe a trick question of a kind. Uh, let me ask, what do, um, what is the second largest river in North America? And um, firefighters? And uh, the patron saint of comedy have in common? And the answer to that is the name Lawrence. So if you ever had an Uncle Larry, he would have been named after Lawrence. And Lawrence in the history of the church is a significant person whose story is worth telling. He was born in 225, so not all that long, a couple centuries after the time of Jesus. And uh, he was born in Spain. And he happened to get to know, so this says something about how you should try to make friends with important people. He, um, he got to know the man who became Pope Sixtus II. And when Sixtus was Pope, he remembered Lawrence and summoned him to Rome and appointed him to be among 11 other men deacons of the church. And their responsibility was uh, to work within the main church and to care for the poor, the sick, the downtrodden. Uh, you may remember a passage from the book of Acts where um, the evangelists are saying, you know, uh, we've got enough to do with preaching the gospel and we really can't uh, be spending our time waiting on tables. Well, therefore, they appointed deacons. Uh, and so deacons in the early church and in many cases today in the church are those people who remember the needs of all God's people and especially the needs uh, of people who are troubled in one way or another. Now, it happened that the emperor at the time, Valerian, um, didn't have much uh, interest in Christians. And as a matter of fact, he was off on a military skirmish in another uh, part of the Roman Empire. But he sent word back that all the leaders of the church should be executed and specifically beheaded. So Pope Sixtus was beheaded, as were the other deacons. But um, Lawrence had been given the job as head deacon to care for the treasury of the church. And so all of the different um, gold and silver items that could be given as gifts were maintained and sold by Lawrence to help the poor. So they said to Lawrence, okay, hand over the treasury, the officials of the empire. Uh, and Lawrence said, give me three days and I'll work it out. So in those three days, Lawrence worked like crazy to um, uh, give all of the treasures in the church away to the people who needed them most so that they could survive. And then the officials called him in and said, all right, hand over the treasures of the church. And Lawrence had lined up behind him the poor and the indigent and the sick and the blind and the lepers and the lame. And he said, these are the treasures of the church. 
It's a wonderful response, and it makes us think that Lawrence was clever, but also had a sense of humor, and you don't um, know what happened yet, but you can surmise that what's going to happen to him is not going to be ordinary. So some uh, scholars think that like everyone else who was um, beheaded, so should Lawrence also have been. But the story which is passed on and which is all often shown in uh, church uh, images, church icons, is that Lawrence is holding a grill because he was roasted, because he was placed on a grill and slow roasted. And um, during this process, he said to his tormentors, uh, you can turn me over because I'm done on this side now. So Lawrence became the patron saint of comedians, and he became the patron saint of cooks, and he became the patron saint of firemen. But more importantly for us, Lawrence today is the name of a number of universities, the name of the St. Lawrence Seaway, the second longest river um, in uh, North America. Um, perhaps also the reason for your Uncle Larry being given the name that he was given. And uh, in England alone, there are 280 uh, churches which are named St. Lawrence. Here in the United States, quite a number of Roman Catholic churches, Lutheran churches, uh, are named St. Lawrence, uh, as are a number of uh, different kinds of organizations. He had enormous impact. And why? Because that statement, these are the treasures of the church, uh, ought, to, ought to be remembered by us as Christians because Lawrence uh, captured what we should be about. Lawrence understood that um, the treasures of the church are not the amount of money that's left in the budget at the end of the year, not uh, the ability of a charity to say uh, we have billions of dollars uh, to be able to place at the disposal of the needy. Uh, why wasn't it already uh, distributed? Lawrence would have said, to each of us, in what way do you seek to be a part of this mission of the church? To understand that the real challenge for us is not to worry about um, financial items like salaries and like mortgages um, when it comes to the church's budget, but the real thing that we should be worrying about is the poor, the indigent, indigent the needy, uh, the sick, the troubled, uh, all of the people who cannot solve the problems which need to be solved on their own need to be addressed by us who know that the treasures of the church are those who are God's poor. August the 10th is a good day for us to remember what a special insight Lawrence had and how each one of us can be asking ourselves which uh, charity, which opportunity, which need we seek to address with our own largus, with our own endowment, with our own uh, pocketbook, with our own personal uh, time and, and um, uh, treasure. August the 10th, a day to remember.